Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be going over the chime settings for the DSC Power Series Neo. Now, I'm going to try and cover everything relating to the chimes, so uh, might not be in the order that you're particularly looking for, but I'll try to timestamp it so that you guys can just go to the section that you need. There's multiple different settings for chime. Um, you can change uh, whether the chime is on and off for the whole system, whether it is a certain tone for different zones. Um, you can adjust whether each individual zone is going to have a chime or not. And you can also adjust the pitch of the tone that the keypad puts out. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. So I'm going to get the camera moved over here. Um, as you can see, I just have a simple setup keypad and a door contact. Um, one thing to keep in mind is door contacts and window contacts are generally the only zones that are going to have a chime attached to them. You can set it up for a motion if you wish, um, but it, I, I feel like motions for the most part are going to get overactive, so it's going to be chiming constantly and most people aren't going to want that. If you set a zone as a motion definition, it's automatically going to have the chime off, so just keep that in mind. Um, other than that, um, yeah, we'll just get the camera moved over here and we'll get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to cover is basically just how to turn the chime on for the system so it can use the default chime settings. Um, most keypads, unless you've gone in and changed the function keys, actually have a function key to enable this. And um, some of them will be uh, worded like this and some will just have symbols, but it is usually this middle function key here on the right. So if you hold that down for a couple seconds, it will tell you door chime feature on. So now, whenever I open this door, it gives me the chime. So that is the most basic way to just turn chime on for your system. Um, you can try it out, see if you like it. Like I said, there are other options as well though. And the, the next simplest one is how to change the buzzer of the chime. So uh, this is gonna change the tone of this individual keypad period. So. One, you'll see what I mean when I get in here, but um, if you go into the master user settings, which is star six, enter your master code, and then uh, you can scroll right or left. Left is a little bit quicker. Scroll left until you find buzzer control. Press star here, and it's gonna tell you the current buzzer level. So as I change this, you'll hear the pitch of the buzzer actually changing. So to some people, it'll sound like the volume's changing as well, but that is because everybody has, you know, different levels of hearing loss. So you might need a higher tone or you might need a lower tone depending on your current hearing conditions. So if I go down, it is going to lower the pitch of each tone. And as I go up, it increases the pitch. So you can scroll through these, like 15, I can barely hear myself, 14, I can hear, um, but a lot of people tend to have higher pitch tone issues with their hearing, and that just comes from, you know, listening to certain types of music. If you listen to loud music, um, personally, you know, if you shoot firearms, things like that, you'll lose certain tones of your hearing. So just scroll through here and find the one that actually fits the best. So right now, one and two, and even three, are incredibly loud as compared to like 10 through 15 for me. So um, I'm gonna set it to two. Hopefully that gets through the mic okay and you guys can hear it, so you can hear the different tones. Um, but it's pretty loud to me, so that's what we're gonna go with. And then just press pound to back all the way out. Now, like I said, that changes the, the pitch for the whole keypad. This doesn't change it for every keypad on your system, though. You do have to do this individually per keypad if you have multiple. So now, if I just hit buttons, it is going to constantly use that pitch for the, for the buzzer. So now what we can do is we can actually go into programming and adjust the chime for each individual zone. So there's a couple ways to do that. Um, one thing you will have to know is, like I said, for each keypad, this is gonna be different. So you have to know what number your keypad is. So the first thing we're gonna do is find out the number of the keypad, and then we'll go into keypad programming to set the chime for each zone. So what you do is go into programming, which is star eight, followed by your installer code, and then uh, go to section, 
8860. This is gonna show you the keypad number for the current keypad that you're working on. So I only have one keypad, so it makes it simple. It's keypad one. So I'm gonna hit star here, or press pound here, now that I know the number of my keypad. From here, all you have to do is scroll over to find the keypad that you're looking for. Sections 861 to 874 are, or I'm sorry, 876 are all of the keypad programming sections. So we're programming keypad one. So scroll to 861, hit star. And there's gonna be a lot of options in here. I've done another video on how to actually go through all of these different options for the keypad programming, but we're just focused on Chime today, so we're gonna skip past most of this. So you actually just scroll right until you get to section 101. Once you get here, you will see that it says zone one door chime. And as you continue scrolling, it will show you each individual zone door chime options. So pick the zone that you're trying to adjust. Um, if you need to adjust all of them, you will have to do them all individually. And that is just because it, it wants you to be able to personalize it to whatever you want. So we're gonna go to zone one door chime because that is what this zone is. And the default is option one, which is six beeps. You guys heard that a few minutes ago. It goes beep, 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 beep. That's the chime it selects for standard doors. There are other options here though. You can use a bing bong chime, then there's a ding dong, which is a little bit higher pitched. Um, I'll actually just go through and show you all of these. So I will have to basically set it and then back all the way out of programming to test it. Unfortunately, there's no way to, to force it to let you hear the chime first. So I'm gonna back out. Right now I'm on option two, bing bong. Now we're gonna set it to ding dong. So this is option three, ding dong. So it's a, similar to the bing bong, but it's a little bit different tone. This is option four, alarm tone. So it gives you a, a little bit of a siren sounding chime. So the last option, option five, is zone name. So if you saw it while I was programming, some keypads do have voice capability. If there is a V in the name of the part number, your keypad has voice capability. Most DSC Neo keypads do not have voice capability now, and that is just because nobody ever purchased those voice keypads, so they eventually discontinued them. So you will, um, it, it is unlikely that you'll have a voice keypad, but it is possible. So um, let me show you the um, part number right here. So as you can see on mine, I have the HS2 LCD RF9. So if there was a V in that part name, it would be a voice keypad. So you can also um, see that whenever you go into section 860. Well, whenever you're looking at the keypad itself, it tells you it's HS2 LCD RF. So if there was a V in there, it would stick the V in the part name there, and you would know that you have a voice keypad. So option five, again, is only if you have a voice keypad. The sixth option is to disable the chime. So if there are certain doors that you don't want to chime, you can come in here and actually turn the chime off for that zone. So that's pretty much it. There is one other section where you can actually enable and disable chime for the zone. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Let me set this back to the standard. And we're gonna back all the way out and we're just gonna start over. So star eight, installer code and we're gonna to go to section 002, which is zone attributes. One thing to keep in mind about zone attributes, you do not want to change any of the default settings except for chime if you go in here. This controls, a lot of these attributes control how the zone functions, and if you mess up those functions, then your zone might not work properly. So if you decide to come into section 002 for zone attributes, make sure you're only changing the chime for this. So 
whenever you get to zone attributes, you're gonna see a zone select screen. So you can scroll through, one through whatever zone, choose the zone that you're trying to adjust, and press star. Then it's gonna show you the attributes for each individual zone. So as we scroll through here, you'll see different options. There's a bunch of options. Like I said, try not to mess with anything but chime unless you specifically know what you're doing. But the chime function is option three. So from this option, you can actually select yes or no as to whether zone one or whatever zone is going to have the chime function. So if I turn it off here, even though our chime is still on, it's not going to chime zone one. So um, that is the other option to disable chime. That one I just don't recommend because you can do it in the other section anyway, but that is another option for doing it. So that's really all there is to it. Um, one thing that I tell people to keep in mind, anytime you are adjusting the chime tone, where you're actually deciding which of the tones it's going to use, I do recommend after you swap it to the tone that you want to go back into the star six for the buzzer settings and make sure that the buzzer is set to whatever works best for that tone. Because depending on the pitch of the tone, it might be a little bit more audible or a little bit less audible to you. So if you do have hearing issues, set the chime tone as what you want, then come in here and play with the buzzer settings again to make sure that it is as loud for you as possible. And that way you can have the chime set the way you want it. So that is essentially all there is to the chime on the DSC Neo. So hopefully this taught you something. And if you need to adjust the chime for your system, that is how you do so. So that's where I'm going to end it. Um, if you guys could like and subscribe if you're on our YouTube channel. Um, if you're on our website, uh, there is a link to the YouTube channel from every video page. So if you want to see more videos like this that may not be listed on this particular page, uh, you can go check there. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the next one.